What is up everybody, James Jackson here, back again with another video. If you're new to my channel, I do tips, tricks, news, and reviews for the film and video making industry. So if you do like the content here, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you can stay up to date on all the content going forth. So, we have a list of lenses that Nikon is getting ready to announce for the next couple years, um, which is great because uh, to be Nikon has sort of been on the uh, slower pace compared to, say, Sony, who already has a slew of lenses that's been out for a while, but and Canon, who's really ramping up their lens lineup, especially going into next year. Now, obviously, change may change. That may go possibly 2021. But Nikon is getting into the game as well and coming with a slew of new lenses for the next couple years. So, uh, and we got a list right here as we will go here. So, we have some potential lenses that are coming up right now is the Nikon uh, 28 millimeter, the 40 millimeter, a 50 millimeter macro. A 18 to 140 uh, millimeter DX, a 24 to 105 millimeter that's part of their S line, which is their uh, professional line of cameras, uh, a 85, and I think they just said this is going to be an 85 millimeter f1.2 for the S line. They're going to have a 105 uh, micro S line, a 100 to 400 uh, S line. A 200 to 600, and then a 400 and a 600 that are also part of the S line. So, it's really good to see Nikon sort of get in the game. Hopefully, uh, these lenses get a little bit, get throw some unique characteristics, some uniqueness with them. Because, um, yes, Nikon's got a nice set of st cool, sturdy little images, uh, and sturdy lenses. But I want to see them sort of really push the edge. Kind of like what Canon is doing with their lenses, like the 28 to 70 F2. Or Canon's coming with a... Uh, spectrometer type of lens or there at least there's a patent for that uh canon came with the really compact 70 to 200 um they came with the super compact super telephoto zooms the f11s you know but uh, again i don't need to necessarily mean that they're fast primes i know a lot of photographers were like that i just want to see some uniqueness i know the noct i mean the most unique one they came out was that nocturon which was like what eight eight thousand dollars uh, so something that's a little bit more in the affordable range, um, cause Nikon, cause right now the Z6 and the Z7 came out with their Mark IIs and, uh, not much improvements or not much, you know, changes compared to the original versions minus the autofocus, which is great, but I really want to see, cause the market is so competitive, so I I would really, and I need like all these other camp companies to sort of just make sure they're staying competitive and really pushing boundaries one way or the other, so it keeps everything fresh for us and we all benefit. And right now, I'm just fr I'm I'm afraid Nikon's just playing too conservative right now. I would love to see some more um, out of Nikon and just taking risks, but. That's just me. I would love to know what you guys think. Let me know. Leave a comment below. Make sure, again, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And until next time, take care, everyone.